Well, I'm not sure if you're aware, but I was the founding member of a very successful Beatles cover band from the Ottawa area. We traveled around and we did, you know, uh, block parties and music festivals and Frosh Week, and we did it all. If I could have dinner with every, anybody, it would definitely be uh, one of the Beatles and probably be Paul McCartney. I've always felt like his uh, musical style aligned best with mine, um, so it'd be great to have dinner with him and learn more about his creative process. My name is Sebastian Goodfellow, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Civil and Mineral Engineering in the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering at the University of Toronto. We're in the My Hall Centre, and we're in a classroom that has a lot of technology that's used to enhance the learning experience for students, and the My Hall Centre is actually where I teach an Introduction to Computer Programming course for our first-year engineers. So as a professor, I have three jobs. Um, I have to do research, I have to teach, and I have to provide a service to my department. So when it comes to research, I'm very interested in the challenge of applying AI systems into complex industry workflows. When it comes to teaching, I teach two courses. I teach an Introduction to Computer Programming course for our first-year engineers, and I teach an Introduction to Data Science course for our undergraduate and graduate civil and mineral engineering students. And when it comes to service, I'm very passionate about supporting our professional development programs uh, to support the upskill needs of civil and mineral engineers uh, in those sectors. So when I was young, I always wanted to be a volcanologist. Uh, my dad was a geologist. I always wanted to be like him when I was young. And I loved the 90s movie Volcano. But for one reason or another, I ended up in uh, an engineering program. And it wasn't really until the third year of that program when I really felt like engineering was for me. The reason I think is because, you know, in the first and second year of the program, I took a lot of courses like calculus and linear algebra and chemistry. And at the time, I failed to see the connection between what I wanted to be doing and, and these courses, you know. So once I got into like the upper year design courses and I was, uh, you know, creating things and I was designing and building and working with my hands, and that's really when it clicked for me. And so for this reason, when I'm teaching our, our first year students, I really try to continually develop these connections between what we're learning in class and the field of engineering, both in terms of uh, the upper year courses uh, in the program and beyond uh, in their careers as engineers. My favorite time of day is between 5 and 8 p.m. And uh, during this time, I'm usually picking my kids up from daycare, uh, I'm making them dinner, I'm giving them a bath, I'm reading them a book and putting them to bed. There's this uh, statistic that 70% of all the time you'll ever spend with your kids uh, is over by the time they're 12 years old and 90% of all the time you'll ever spend with your kids is over by the time they're 18 years old. So really my priority at the moment is just to spend as much time as I can with my kids. What I love most about the UT engineering community um, is certainly the students, you know. They're just starting out in their careers, they've got big ideas and big plans and big goals, and it's hard not to get kind of motivated by that kind of energy. You know, a lot of the biggest discoveries and the biggest companies uh, came from people in their 20s. Think about Dirac and Heisenberg or Dell and Zuckerberg. And so, you know, it's hard uh, not to admire that kind of zeal and uh, it's hard not to let it inspire you as well to continue to push yourself and do interesting work.